so it's been a while because I've been on YouTube like a couple weeks and my daughters are taking a nap which they will probably wake up pretty soon but it's my mom's birthday today and I was going to do my makeup and kind of show you guys my updated makeup kit and whatnot um so yeah I'm filming this on my iPhone 14 I don't really know if the quality is gonna be okay like when I upload it I'm like kind of nervous because I have like my camera excuse me I have my camera like all set up but for some for some reason I like the lighting better on my iPhone than with the camera so I just what is in my house so here's a little review preview of what my makeup kit currently looks like I'm not gonna go into full detail but that's what I have in there as of right now so yeah as of right now that's what I got in there I'm just gonna pull out products as I go um, just do like a quick little like face to chat, whatever. I made these earrings, by the way. I do have them on my Etsy shop if you're interested. And they look so cute with this. Um, sure, so that they're polymer clay earrings and they have the uh, 18 karat coated. So they're safe for sensitive ears. And these have been like my favorite like spring earrings. I've been wearing them like all the time. I have them in like this pink color, a light purple, and I think a light pink and like a pastel blue. Then that's what they look like. It's like super, super cute. Okay, I'm gonna start with this spray. So this is a daily rescue facial spray. I got this from Sephora. Um, and it says Tower 28. This is the first product I ever tried from them, but it says Soothe, soothe Purify, and Renew. So it helps like stress out skin. There's only one ingredient in it. So it's like a clean beauty product and I honestly have been loving it. So I start, um, you can use it as like a toner and then you do your moisturizer afterwards. So I've just been using it to kind of prep the skin before my makeup. everywhere and I feel like my collagen my modair collagen my supplements have been like literally making my skin look so much better like my my pores are smaller like I feel like it's not as red as it usually is and it could be this too because I actually have been using this for some time now and then I'm gonna go in with um I'm gonna use my NARS natural radiant lawnmower foundation which i don't know why it took me so long to try this product but i absolutely love it and as a makeup artist this is like a staple of my kit now i'm literally about to go get some more shades and then i've been using um this is called siggy this brand is a clean brand as well um the star glow highlighter i've been using this as like a primer for my skin and I also still really like Lime Life's products, which I'm going to probably stock up my kit with some of their cream foundations too, just to have. But I'm going to use this as my primer. And I like that it's a spray. I think that's like pretty cool. And then I let it sit and dry. And I'm going to start with my eyes. And I'm going to be using the Glossier palette i got this at sephora too that's what it looks like it's like super it's in the shade neutral so this three little quad palette which i love like brown like bronzy types of looks so that's what i'm gonna be using and my daughter's literally gonna wake up because i'm being so loud I need to go get some more eyelashes today because I have two makeup, actually just one I think. I can't remember, but I know that I'm doing makeup tomorrow. 
for a client at my job, which it's for prom and I'm super excited. So that will be fun. And I'm gonna go in with um, this concealer to prep for my eyeshadow, which this is like my exact skin color. Um, I want to get it's a 4N so it like literally helps to cover like blemishes and stuff but for like a brightening concealer I want to get one a little bit lighter to help like brighten there's also this product I've been like eyeing from um, makeup forever it's the like sculpting face palette it's $85 and I think it comes with 12 like sculpt like cream shades for contour if you know me you know I love my cream contour so I have been eyeing it and I really 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 like really want it I might go to the store today and get it but I'm also trying to be super what's the word conscious of like spending money like I don't want to I want to save my money me and my husband have like goals and I don't want to be a splurger like I'm like I don't need it I don't need it I just bought all this makeup like I don't need it god I just want it really bad <laughs> okay I'm going in with that like matte shade and I'm just going to do a little rub, rub my crease and take it all the way Finally have a makeup chair that I got from Amazon. It was a hundred bucks and I love it. It has like a little tray. Um, I've yet to use it on anybody, but tomorrow I'm actually gonna use it for the first time tomorrow. And I'm so pumped about it. I love my new makeup case that I just showed you guys. It's been like so convenient. I wish I would have got it sooner. And now I just wanna buy like all the makeup and like fill it up, but Makeup is so expensive. Like, good makeup is really, really, really expensive. And I realize that I'm somebody, like, I think it's like a makeup artist thing. I can never stick to one brand. Like, I, there's so many, like, good options out there. Like, I'm like, I can't just, like, only carry, like, one brand. Like, it's, like, so hard to choose. And now I'm just going to take my finger and I'm going to do, um, this one right here and do my lid. So this is like a super quick, easy, like bronzy makeup that you could wear like every day. It's not like too dark. These are really simple and this is really pigmented like really well. I don't know how well it's showing on the camera, but. been my like, go-to like pregnancy on the go makeup look and you could like make it like I could deepen the crease a little bit if you want to but you don't like need to it's fine if you, and this this goes best on with your finger and you just pat it in and you can build it up how you want to which I like mine pretty like glittery, so yeah. And then I just wipe my finger on a paper towel. So yeah, obviously there's like some fallout. I'll clean that up when I do my foundation, but I think I want to go the no liner route today. I don't know. I don't know. What should I do? I'm kind of thinking I just want to do like lashes and no liner. We'll try that. Oh my gosh, it looks so close to my face. Okay, I'm going out with the Tarte Man Eater mascara. Love this mascara. It just makes my lashes look super bomb and it doesn't flake or anything. Which I love. I feel like I have a lot to catch up on with YouTube because I have not been like vlogging or like
like making videos I'll try I'll wake up and I'll like try but it's so much work honestly it goes into vlogging and just like recording your every move it's definitely not for the people who don't like to bring their cameras everywhere like I'm still learning it I'm still learning how to use my camera too like I feel like I still need to learn like the settings and what to put it on don't go wrong like I love it it takes like amazing pictures but sometimes it's just easier to vlog on your iPhone and it works just as well I'm trying it, it's like really hard for me to multitask so that's why I feel like I don't make a lot of like these types of videos of me like getting ready because it's hard for me to talk and like do things and so many like makeup videos are like sp sped up now that you don't get to, you don't like really see how long it takes to like put a full like face makeup on. I'm going with the Kiss Ruffle Lashes today. I didn't do any eyeliner. I might like smoke out my lash line and that's it but I didn't go for this. I'm about to order. I wanted to order um so Ardell has a line of, they're called Naked Lashes and they are like amazing quality for bridal just like every day like um wear and I love the Kiss brand and Ardell brand versus like all the other brands you see because one they're not super expensive and the band like the the band is really thin so it, they're really easy to apply to your lash line and they don't irritate my eyes like anything that has like a super thick band um lash band like really irritates my eyes so i tend to stay away so that's one of my favorites and this is called pompadour this style is like my favorite one of my favorites for bridal it's like um with you know it's short to long then it gets like thicker on the ends literally go through these like so quickly it's my favorite style so i need to go stock up on those i also have my first wedding um this month may 20th my first wedding i'll be doing makeup and um i'm just so excited to be like in wedding wedding mode okay i got the quick uh dry glue by the way this glue is awesome And then a little tip for applying lashes, if you get like a mirror and you look down, it's easier to apply versus like you don't want to put it on straight on because the glue could get stuck on your eyelid and it'll be a whole mess. Also, you want to wait for the glue to get like tacky and dry so it will um, not like wiggle when you put it on your lash line. of those things that just take practice you know like anything I was never good at it in the beginning and the more I wear them the better I get at like the application I feel like and then I just hold it like in the corners they make like little tools but I honestly I just use my finger and I just press it like as close as I can and hold and then it's gonna dry a little bit more and then I'm gonna go in and do the same thing on the other side mental note get more lashes today while I'm at the store 
it's like not cheap to get a makeup artist like people think like you know they wonder why like we have to charge like a lot for our full face of makeup because like it's like $13 for a pack of lashes which the this brand is cheaper than like I said the other brands but still like that you go like I wear them myself so I'm like I feel like I go through them because I'm like I'm wearing them I'm, I'm putting them on other people it's like I feel like I have to restock like all the time I'm like Ugh. they say that they're reusable but honestly I'm somebody like I don't ever reuse my lashes I think it's such a hassle to like take the glue off and then like oil them and let them dry I'm just honestly like lazy when it comes to that I would rather just pop on a new pair I don't know I would never reuse like the same lash on somebody that's gross but like I mean for yourself you can reuse them they say like 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 20 times which who wants to clean like a lash for like that long I don't know not me but anyways I love how these look they're kind of dramatic they're more they're longer than the, the other ones I use so they're not like for everybody people who don't want like a more natural look I probably would not use these on them but for me I'm used to like the bold look so they don't bother me I'm gonna clean up this I want to um straighten my extensions because I have clipping extensions that I wear sometimes but I've never worn them straight I cut them to blend in with my haircut that I have now and I always wear them curly and it's just again like one of those things like it's such a hassle to like wash and dry hair extensions so I'm like I really 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 want to um today wash them and dry them and straighten them because I want to wear them straight with my hair I'm in the process of saving up for a hand tie because I I do hand tied extensions so I am um I want them in my hair because I'm like okay I can like model them like if I have them like I'm like I can market myself and like you know do them because I'm trying to grow like my clientele in that area but um yeah even like the hair even for a stylist it's so expensive it's like a thousand dollars for me to buy my own hair, which to me is crazy. But anyways, um, you can get what you pay for. It's like great quality and I, it's like what I use and love. So I trust that it's like good, but I just have to like wait to purchase it. And then I have a friend who's gonna install it for me, which I'm like super excited for. To like really focus because this one's like I think I let the glue dry for too long because it doesn't want to stick on. There we go. And I have to go to the corner a little bit more. We're gonna let those dry in the meantime I can do my um, face <laughs> prep my face which I already sprayed my primer on so I'm going to now go in with this highlighting this liquid highlighter which is like all good ingredients they have foundation too that I want to try but um, I just do like two pumps and you can mix this with your um, foundation, but I like to just apply it like this. I 
and it is kind of similar to the elf halo glow but it doesn't have as much color to it but it kind of like gives the same effect on the skin which i love kind of see like how they just like gave me like a little glow so when i'm like on the go or when my skin like looks good <laughs> like right now it looks pretty glowy I can like wear it by, its, by itself and then I'm gonna go over with my um, Bellamy which I need to buy more of this um, Baobab oil so this is a prime set condition and protect protect mist which I think I've talked about this in some of my other videos still love Bellamy love the company love their makeup just you know I just can't stick to one brand, like I said, so it, it's hard for me to like fully commit to that, but I will use their products and I use them on my clients and myself, and I feel like it has literally helped my skin get to where it's at now, but makeup is literally all about layering and knowing what to layer on top of each other, so that was a hydrating mist it kind of gives you like another glow and then this is the shade santa fe which is i think it's m2 but i think all their shades are like universal with all like their different kinds of foundations this was 50 dollars, so this is definitely in high end one of the, like the pricier foundations that i have the most expensive foundation i carry is probably my time forward one which just gives you like a natural kind of glow. So if you, and this is a shade bisque, bisque, yeah, bisque. But it, so it's a soft matte foundation. It doesn't give full coverage. And um, my skin's pretty oily. So when I use this, I, I don't tend to use like a um, glowy, dewy primer with it. I use the matte primer because it gives you like a dewy glow. And then I have, um, this one which is like almost gone the christian dior or is it dior yeah dior forever skin and glow one of my favorite foundations literally have used this so many times with bridal parties and stuff and it just literally works like a charm and then of course i love my bellamy foundation so i have two shades of those and this one is, yeah, I was trying to say, like, which one is this? The Natural Radiance. I just put some two, on, two pumps on my Beauty Blender. This coverage is literally amazing. I'm just going to make a little mirror because I'm just using my phone. It has, like... And it literally lasts really take my hand off. All, all day long. It's been like raved about in like the makeup community for a long time. I feel like I'm just always like the last person <laughs> to tackle on. Cause I'm like that. I like what I like. Like if I'm gonna spend fifty dollars on a foundation, like I better love it. Like that's a lot. Like when you're a makeup artist you have to buy like multiple shades that's like you can easily you know easily spend 200 300 dollars on like four foundations that are good which is pricey I'm going to spray my beauty blender with that to kind of give it like a more dewy coverage. Okay, 
Okay, I got my foundation on. Now I'm going to do some concealer and I'm going to use... Okay, I'm going in with Bella's Maze Concealer. And this is number two. So this actually has caffeine in it, so it helps um, depuff your eyes like naturally. Which I need that. Vivi, make sure you share what Viera when she wakes up. This is where I go in and contour. And blush. I get it out. Okay. I'm using the Fenty Beauty uh, stick in the shade Mocha. I have the Rare Beauty contour, but it's not my right shade, so I don't use it but I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty liquid blush to um kind of show you guys how I contour my face this is literally I've used all of it this is all I have left um I don't support Rihanna or her brand really like but product did work pretty good. I literally used it for like a year, but I think I'm going to try the makeup forever. Oh my gosh. When you're pregnant and you drop something, it's literally the worst thing ever because you have to bend up over it. By the way, I don't think I ever announced on here that I am having a boy. I, I wanted to post my gender reveal video, which maybe I'll attach it to this video because we did a gender reveal and I got like a 30 second clip of it, but it wasn't like enough to like make a YouTube video. And I feel like I just never like, and I don't remember what I shared on my YouTube or not. I was like, I shared that I was pregnant with you guys. But I don't think I shared, like, that I'm having a boy. And it's going to be named after my husband, who's, his name is Vaughn. So it's about to be a uh, a third, a senior. So his dad's name was Vaughn, and then his name's Vaughn. So that's really exciting. And we're, that's what we, we wanted. I mean, we, obviously we didn't care. I definitely need to get that out of we didn't care like what we were having but we like wanted a boy really bad because we both have two from previous which are our boys and then we have two girls together so we were ready to have a boy And I'm going to go in and blend this concealer. I just love how, like, this is similar to, like, the tart, but the ingredients in the Bellamy one is like way better um even though Tarte's like not like a super bad when it comes to chemicals in their makeup like they're fairly like good for the skin um I just trust Bellamy way more and like your under eye area is like super delicate so you want to be careful like what you put on it and I like that it just gives me like it doesn't crease like super creasing is normal by the way with concealers so some people are like oh my gosh it's creasing so much like that's normal like like having texture fine lines like stuff with makeup like we need to normalize that like that's normal 
but um, the way it applies, it's like very smooth. And this is the blush. I'm obsessed with liquid blush. I don't think I'll ever go back. I still put like a little bit of powder over this, but like instead of putting the blush right here, this will help lift your face if you put it on like your right on top of your bronzer. You can kind of see the, the difference. I love it. So you can just kind of see how all these products are looking. They literally sit so well on top of each other. I'm going to go in with my, um, ooh, if I can get it out. setting powder and I'm gonna set the underneath of my eyes and I go in with a little tapered brush like this and you literally only need a little bit and I just press that right under here and then my nose gets oily so I do it like in my t-zone And just tap and this helps you no know, so your concealer doesn't crease you always want to set it with powder so it doesn't crease and this one works really well so Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow pencil, which this is just wet and wild. I think it was like two, three dollars. It's not expensive at all, but it works really good. And my eyes are microbladed. My eyebrows are microbladed. So I don't do much to them. I just like, sometimes I get like makeup on them when I'm putting my foundation on. So I just want to go and darken them a little bit but um all i have to do is follow like what was already done which my best friend miranda she has her own business she works in beachwood and her she's amazing at eyebrows so if you need a referral tell her tiana sent you and you will not regret getting them done it's literally been such like the best investment ever And it makes a difference when you don't have makeup on like you can just like you know have good brows all the time it really does like face or shape your face you know now when i get to the front i really just like barely touch it because I like it to be like a natural like blend so yeah if you're thinking about getting your brows microbladed Miranda at Bliss Beauty Brows in Beachwood Ohio you will not regret it she's amazing we're both in the beauty industry. She was a makeup artist before she um, left this, so she knows how to like frame the brows. She knows how to stencil it. She matches it up perfectly, like with your face shape. Literally, she's phenomenal. So if you're looking to get your brows done, she's having a Mother's Day sale, um, a hundred dollars off, which is amazing. Highly recommend. Also, my Etsy shop that I have for my earrings and my anointing oils, which I just got a new um, product oil bundle that I just launched. It comes with three oils and they are um, all led by, you know, were, I was led by the Holy Spirit to make them and they are called Purity, um, Favor, and Glory. And they come in these set of three, which I'm about to start making the roller blades for them, like roller roller <laughs> oils for them um those are on my site right now and then i'm adding some more earrings uh today but i'll have us from uh, may 7th so starting monday 
through the 14th, I'm going to have 30% off my entire Etsy site, which is Created for Glory Co. It has a little butterfly logo. If you're on Etsy and you like to shop homemade stuff, handcrafted things that you can't find like anywhere, check out my shop. I said I'd throw that in there because I forget. I'm also on Instagram too, so if you're on Instagram, follow my business. And now I'm going to go in with my um, Anastasia brow gel, which I want to get the brow wax because I know that's going to work so much better, but I don't have it right now. I just have this clear brow gel, which you have to clean it every time or else it looks dirty. And I just put all those hairs where I want them to go. I just realized I got makeup on my camera, so I had to clean my camera off because the videos were like kind of blurry, but it's better now. So I got my lashes on. I'm going to go in with mascara and I'm going to take that matte color and smoke out the bottom of my lash line right here. Just to give it some color. Go back in with my mascara and just blend. I just blended my eyelashes in with mascara and I'm gonna do I lost my train of thought. Okay. Going in with my bronzer. This is the Gucci bronzer. It works pretty good. This is the shade I don't even know how to pronounce that. It's in French, but that's what it looks like. <laughs> and a little bit goes a long way, so I just I always use powder over my cream contour. I think it just makes it pop.
I think like the number one tip I use when you're like contouring your nose is to connect it to like your brow arch. And then you can go back with a beauty blender and like if you do anything too harsh, it will like soften the lines. But you can just like think of it as like a, a, the number three. No, we saw you start with your forehead bronzer, come down here, and then come down here. So it, it literally creates like the number three. If you don't know like where to put your bronzer, and then you just follow like the sides of your nose. And let's see what else. I'm gonna go in with the Gucci blush too and just kind of go over the cream blush a little bit more. And just make it pop a little bit. Okay, this is where I set everything. So I'm gonna go back in with the Lime Life Time Setter. I'm gonna spray everything. And let it set really good and put some of this away This is the crunchy highlighter. I'm gonna use this to highlight my cheekbones. And I'm also gonna highlight my tip of my nose. And I'm gonna do my brow. which takes me forever so let's me see I really don't like love lipsticks but more of like a gloss type of person just gotta find the one do the Arbonne Hazel with this lip liner which I hope this matches. We will see. I honestly suck at applying lip liner. I don't really ever use it. Like, look at how silly that looks. I definitely messed up right there. Oh well, okay, and then I'm going in with this gloss. I just go right over like the liner. To blend it in. This is those dang corners always for me. 
her time. But you can go in with your beauty blender and like My lips are just like uneven, like the top is not even with the bottom. And I'm gonna go over with this Bellamy Clear Gloss. It's like a plumping gloss, so it gives it like a little extra plump to my lips. But yeah, so there's the final look. If you made it this long, I don't even know how long this video was. But anytime I'm talking, it takes me longer to do my makeup. I need to put dry shampoo on my hair. But these claw clips, I'm so happy these are a trend right now because they're so <laughs> easy to use. Okay, come on. I need to stop touching my hair because I'm making it so oily. But yeah, this outfit, by the way, is from Target. It's a, it's their sleep line. It's like a sleepwear line that has like little like pants not, like they're like baggy pants that go with it and I linked it on my story I believe but um yeah if you're looking for like a, a loungewear outfit highly recommend this brand it's, it's called um stars above and I absolutely love it it's just super comfy and cozy like the perfect like loungewear outfit for when you're pregnant even though it is like supposed to be a nightgown i honestly like would wear this to the store like honestly mm -hmm. i am 25 weeks pregnant in three days so i'm due august 12th and my son's due date was august 7th or his birthday is august 17th mm -hmm. but it's really funny because his due date was supposed to be the 12th so we'll see if this baby comes on their due date or not we'll find out and need to spray i can never do that anymore it just smells so good so yeah i hope you enjoyed this makeup look um if you want product details or anything um makeup tips if you got anything from this video let me know and thank you for watching and um, yeah, subscribe to my channel.